In this video, we are going to teach you how to make your first adjustments on your CBCP, Platinum Automatic Edge Bander. Let's get started. Begin by accessing the electrical panel at the rear of the machine and connect it to a 220 volt 40 amp power source. Ensure your machine receives adequate air pressure, aiming for 13.4 SCFM at 90 PSI. Connect the dust collection system with a minimum CFM of 1200. Turn on the machine using the on and off switch and emergency stop. Make sure to remove any zip ties as per the manual. Check the screen for alarms and delete if necessary. Select your preferred language. Navigate to the main menu. Engage the components and turn on the glue heating system. This will heat up the machine to its working temperature. Then, activate the pre-milling, anti-static spray, tape feeding, guillotine, and end trimming. On the second page, turn on the flush trimmers, glue scraping, and buffing unit. Adjust the glue temperature at the pot and the glue roller according to your glue specifications. Wait for them to heat up. Open the back door of the machine and fill up the glue pot. Place the drainage pan in position. Engage the glue pot. Adjust the amount of glue. You will only truly know where to put it at, once you run a panel and see how much glue is applied to the panel. The less the glue, the better. Engage the glue scraper. Adjust the conveyor height to match the thickness of the panel using a caliper for measurement. Place the tape and measure its thickness with a caliper. Set the infeed fence for the thickness of your edge banding. Set the tape up to the pressure roller. Adjust the front and rear height adjustments. Position the tape at the guillotine starting point. Run a panel and test the rounded edge. You can adjust the flush trimmer motors to increase or decrease rounding, depending on the curvature of the edge. Adjust the flush trimmers for a straight cut. 
For straight edges, set flush trimmers to a lower setting. Loosen the top bracket bolts on each trimmer and turn the dial to the desired setting. Then, lock the bolts. Run a panel and test the straight edge. Test the vertical rounding. Run the first two parallel sides of the panel. Then, engage the vertical rounding before running the last two parallel sides of the panel. On the main menu, activate the vertical rounding. Lastly, run a test panel. 